I'm just literally on Twitter one day and I see the the head of customer service or the person who I ended up messaging. It's like, hey, is anybody interested in helping like reach out and talk with customers? So I'm like, let me let me send her a quick Twitter DM. It was like the longest shot I ever took. I build for the art of it, I guess, for the, the techniques it takes for trying to capture some form of reality in some way. You can't fit the entire world in a real life miniature and you can't fit the entire city or something like that on a city skylines map. So you have to figure out what you're gonna compress and how you're gonna kind of push things down and make sure that you can capture the spirit of a real place. When it feels like it's not all built digitally in 2018, it grew from farmland in the 17 and 1800s and was built up in the early 1900s and then fell into decline and is rebuilt. You gotta, you gotta bake all that in and make it all look realistic and make it all look like it has history. I don't wanna be like, oh, the feel is right when the feel is right. But part of the reason why I try so hard to stick to what I know and build what I know is because there's something, there's some reaction of when I'm in a neighborhood in real life that when I can try to get that same reaction when I'm in the game, I know I'm done, I can move on. For me, city building is a lifelong hobby. Uh, it's, it goes back to drawing little towns on paper and drawing maps and setting up my wooden trains all over the floor in as big and complex a way as I possibly can and all, the, all of these sorts of things that just end up combining to try and create some sort of world. I, I feel like I have this kind of need to want to create and build things and if I didn't have uh, city building games, I'd, I'd need to figure out a way to create, uh, especially cities, especially kind of human built environments. I can really appreciate the natural environment, but if I could either have outside of my window a view of a beautiful mountain range or a skyline view, I'm taking the city every time. Everybody's building because it's an art form that we've never had in the past. I'm not that old, and I remember growing up with first-person games that had lower detail in their cities than City Skylines does. City building exists as a collaborative art medium. No one person can make something as rich of a fabric as a whole city. Everybody's working together to, to motivate and help each other. That motivates me so much. I made my first train for City Skylines because I'd finished some 3D modeling and animation classes at NYU. I was driving a friend back and forth to a train station once a week, and every time I'd stay as the train went in just to make sure that it didn't like get canceled and he was gonna have to sit on the platform for an hour. I'm just like, wait a minute. I can make this for City Skylines. Like I have the skills to model this out and to texture it and import it into the game and things. It was similar with airplanes. I was flying back and forth and noticed that the tails in the airports in city skylines don't necessarily look as varied and interesting as they do in real life. So I ended up just sort of slowly making these and ended up with a really large portfolio of a bunch of really good looking asset. <laughs> I ended up thinking that my videos and the stuff that I'm interested in and making could kind of link with what the MTA might be wanting to see, what video production that they want to see at the transit agency here. And I've got all these things built out already. I've made all these models of all the transit trains, like all the subway trains. It was like the longest shot I ever took. I'm just literally on Twitter one day and I see the, 
the head of customer service or the person who I ended up messaging, it's like, hey, is anybody interested in helping like reach out and talk with customers? So I'm like, let me, let me send her a quick Twitter DM. And just because I'd been allowed and given the tools and the motivation through the City Skylands community to keep modeling, I had this portfolio I could show and end up being impressive enough. City Skylines and doing this stuff on my own let me build out a skill set that ended up being extremely useful here. I work at the New York City MTA's uh, Multimedia Production Division. Uh, I make videos for the subway, I guess, for all of transit to help people to know what service changes are happening, to, to learn about the system and why it works the way it does, and maybe sometimes why it doesn't work the ways that it doesn't work. <laughs> it's been weird, because for a long time, I was basically freelancing and looking for a job so much, and then all of a sudden, I end up one that I don't want to change. I am so proud I've achieved the dream job right now. I'm gonna be useless when I have kids and have to teach them how to get a job. They're just like, take some random long shot that might turn into like a 30 year career, who knows? Mm -hmm.